Hey guys! Today's video is going to be about my septum piercing and all about it, like where I got it from and how much it cost and like pain and stuff like that. Here's a close-up of the ring. It is a 16 gauge. I got it done maybe around six weeks ago. I think I am on the sixth week. So yeah, it was a little while ago and it is still healing. So when I first got it, it was... After I got off work one day and I was, I just had this really spontaneous feeling like I need to get my nose pierced. So I was with my boyfriend and I was like, oh my god, I think I should do this. So we were trying to look at places that were open late enough and because it was already like eight, almost nine o'clock at night. So I know a lot of the places closed at nine. So I was doing a lot of research and trying to find a place that was open till you know, late enough so I can get it done. And I ended up finding this place. It was called Pear Eddie Tattoo and Piercing Salon. It wasn't too far from me. It was kind of like 20 minutes away. And I was nervous the whole way there. It was beyond spontaneous. I had no preparation time to get ready and to mentally prepare for what I was about to do to my face. So we went in and I, I told them what I wanted and it was really funny because the there was like two people in there and there was only one guy that was tattooing and he wanted to he was the only guy there and he was a piercer as well apparently so he was trying to tell me all these things that I need to be aware of like if he messes up my piercing the first time that he has to redo it afterward even though he already pierced me the first time and then after the second time if that one didn't work then he would have to wait 10 minutes or something and then pierce me again and I was just like I thought it would be like oh, okay you want to accept him okay I'll just do it like I <laughs> I was really scared and I know he just had to warn me I know he wasn't a bad piercer obviously so that was just really scary to hear. Luckily the first time went just fine and I was not ready for that at all. He would, he like had his clamp on me and he was like, are you ready? And I was literally about to tap out and be like, no, I'm not ready for this. But I was like, um, I guess so. And he ended up just doing it and oh my God, that was the worst piercing I've ever been through like in my life I would never ever do this ever again so I'm never taking this out <laughs> as long as I live because that pain was ridiculous and I know some people handle it better than others but I guess apparently I just don't have a good pain tolerance because even just like ear piercings hurt for me it hurt horribly I would say 9 out of 10 for me on the pain scale because right when he did it I was like oh my god <laughs> And my eyes were watering. I know that's normal, but I was so vocal about it and I feel like Yeah, so that's why it was a nine because I was ready to like scream, but I didn't The worst part I think was No, the worst part was the piercing itself, but the transferring the jewelry was just gross because I I like heard it rip through my nose when he put it through and he really scared me This guy was really funny and he looked at my boyfriend and he's like, holy shit, bro. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I thought he ruined my nose or something. Like, I thought he pierced it wrong. <laughs> and he's like, doesn't that look so perfect? And I like smacked him because he scared the shit out of me. I thought he had ruined my nose ring. But anyway, he was really funny and he did such a great job, I think. And it's perfect and it's not infected or anything like that, so I would definitely go back to him for other piercings. And the piercing itself costed around $75. After I first got it, it took a while for it to heal because I ended up going through a lot of crap and I just wasn't taking good care of it, so it ended up getting a little irritated and it was a couple weeks where it would really hurt when like I would barely touch it. Like it wasn't excruciating pain. Like I know it wasn't infected because it was just doing the normal scabbing, but it did hurt a lot where it'd make my eyes water depending on what I was doing. So that was my fault though for not taking care of it. But yeah. So mine did take a long time to heal kind of. 
it's I'm on the sixth week and it feels good like I can just move it no problem and it doesn't hurt when I tug it on things but it's still like barely there like I can still feel it like oh that kind of hurts maybe if I bump it on something accidentally but yeah there's no pus or anything and it's it looks like it's just gotten over the scabbing phase which is nice what I used to clean it was saline solution I went to the nearest Walgreens and I got this, the sterilized saline solution that was recommended and I just use q-tips to clean it every day twice a day so yeah that did pretty well because at first I was using an antibacterial soap because I was like I don't have any saline so I was using that and it was making my nose so irritated and it was just ridiculous and it made it that much more painful so that was my fault for not going out to the store sooner and just buying the saline. I ended up starting to use the saline and that worked perfect. Like with the first time I used it, it felt so much better just from one use. So I was like, yeah, okay. I'm really excited because I'm nearing the eight weeks, six to eight weeks, I think they said for me to change the ring. So I went out and bought this really cute septum ring that I'm really excited to put in. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, this thing is so cute. It's a little diamond butterfly. I got it off this website. I think it's called Body Candy. And I went on their Instagram and checked to see if they were actually like a real company and they were just like weird. And they had people posting stuff wearing their jewelry. So I was like, okay, I'll get it. I thought I was able to flip this septum ring right when I got it because at the time I had a job where I couldn't have a nose ring so that ended up being really fun figuring out that I could not flip it and I was trying to flip it during the first like day or two that I had it because I had work and I couldn't flip it and I had to just show up to work with it and it was so bad and I was yeah it was really that's what I get for being spontaneous um but I don't regret it. I have a new job now, which is fine, but I don't regret getting the nose ring because I think it's really cute and I've wanted it for a really long time. So yeah, I'm really happy with it and I would never do it again, so I'm not taking it out. And luckily my boyfriend was there with me while I got it and he was like patting my tears away because I had a bunch of makeup on and it was giving me like bald spots down my cheeks it was really funny i honestly really love the way it looks and it's it's so cute i like i've wanted it for a long time so before i actually had one i went out to hot topic and i bought one of those fake septum rings and i just like wore it in my nose and i loved it so much and i felt guilty for wearing it on my instagram because I didn't want people to think I'm just trying to be like a poser and have like a fake nose ring in. So, but yeah, it was really cute. And I had two different ones and they both looked really cute on me in my opinion. So I went out and got this last second and that was probably one of the funnest things I've ever done <laughs> and the most painful things I've ever done. So I think spontaneous decisions are pretty fun because that's, I mean, sometimes you don't always think of the consequences, just like me, like I ended up not being able to cover it for work and that was like so difficult to just deal with. I spontaneously shaved my head, so that's why I'm growing it out and that's why my pigtails are only one inch long and the rest is just psychotic. <laughs> I don't regret cutting my hair either, I really wanted it short, so I got it short. It was like the same day decision. That's what I mean by spontaneous. It was the same day decision and I don't regret any of it <laughs> even though I'm stuck with short hair that looks like a mullet and I had to get a new job for my nose ring but it's fine. In the future I'll probably make more videos on septum rings in all like my collection and stuff like that. As of right now I haven't even changed it once so I only have one other septum ring but along the way I will most definitely be getting more septum rings so look forward to that in the future of jewelry hauls and stuff like that and 
yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that if you have the urge to get a nose ring, just fucking do it. Just do it. I hope to see you guys next time on my channel, and thank you guys.